Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. I am in Moscow, Russia and today I am going to tell you about Russian real estate. I'm going to react. I've been watching a bunch of uh, videos from Florida, from Canada about the cost of living, the cost of apartments. We're gonna talk um, you know about the absolutely insane cost of maintenance for real estate in the United States and Canada and compare it to Russia and you know basically once you get outside of you know Canada in the United States the cost of real estate really goes down it is absolutely insane how much things cost there so as we walk through buildings here I'm gonna do like a mix of you know so you guys don't just get to stare at my face all day so this building was built back in like 2000s so anyway and, and this is a newer building right there but as you can see all the streets are walkable here there's people like outside there's people walking so uh, it's not just car centric like it is in the United States and Canada and the cost of living here is also much lower and it's basically because maintaining an apartment is much much cheaper and across the street we can see the older soviet buildings see they look much different and there is more uh, soviet buildings these were built back in 1980s behind me you can see hundreds and hundreds of apartments so why do most people in like the whole world including asia and europe live in apartments uh, versus the united states which lives in single-family houses well one of the reasons i mean there, there's a lot of reasons you know it has to do with zoning it has to do with planning but the absolutely insane like for example right when you buy a condo in the united states let's say if you buy it in like uh, canada or if you buy it in florida the insane cost of maintenance you know cost of owning that condo is like insane like for example in florida often let, let's just go over the cost right you buy a condo in florida the um hoa fee can be like 600 or 700 dollars right the property tax will be like around the same uh, amount the uh utilities are going to be even more right so just like for example you can easily go over like um two thousand dollars a month for um, um owning um a condo in florida or um, you know canada but uh owning a apartment in russia could cost you as little as a hundred dollars a month and this is not just russia it's the same situation like everywhere in europe and asia if you go to the philippines it's the same thing see for example right here you can see a bus arriving and people are getting off the bus and going you know to going home or whatever you know so these places have public transportation but even you know with the public transportation there's tons of cars and there's no parking so some people like to drive no matter what so on the first floors of these uh, buildings there are businesses so for example this is an english uh, language school right here and uh, and here we have a small cafe this is like a russian starbucks so they're all on the first floors of th so here's a huge building right and on the first floor there's stores there is businesses and things like that so that way you don't have to drive you know and imagine imagine how many people live around me this is like you know probably at least 10 15 000 people live around me and everything is within walking distance right here and here we see some new construction you know some more of these buildings being built these are like 25 stories high you can see the crane and uh, yeah so there's gonna be more apartments coming and then right here behind me you can see like a small yard where people you know can come out sit on a bench and everything but basically one of the reasons why i moved away uh you know was the from you know california where i used to live 
is the insane cost of living. So I keep watching these videos. I, ho I hope the sound is all right. So pe people are just, you know, the, the, the cost of living is just insane. Like, why would I pay, you know, $2,000 a month for a house or apartment where I can pay $100 a month? You know, this does not uh, make any sense whatsoever. On the first floor, we can see more stories, uh, more stores. Sorry, I'm like, I, I think I'm gonna forget my English in a while here. Uh, this is a supermarket right here. And uh, <clears throat> you see, there's a lot of apartments here. There's one thing that's kind of, um, you know, sucky in Russia right now, and that is the mortgages. The Russian mortgage, so it, it's funny that in Russia, the, the wind is actually insane here. I don't know if my sound is all right. So the, the mortgages are quite expensive in Russia right now, but the maintenance for the properties is kind of cheap. And you know, the one thing that's interesting is that after living in Russia for a while, when I start seeing the cost of living in the specifically in the United States and Canada, I get like weirded out right now, which never, you know, used to happen uh, to me before. So, you know, before when I used to live um, in the United States, I thought, all right, well, people in LA and New York pay something like, um, you know, two to three thousand dollars a month you know and that is like or five thousand a month you know and that is like all right well five thousand a month you know three thousand a month but now after i live here for a while you know the fact that in moscow hold on, so i had to move away because they're scrubbing the street and they're making a lot of noise but anyway so i think in most major cities in the world except for maybe london or new york or uh, you know la or whatever you can rent uh, an apartment for about 500 dollars a month that's that's like the you know the price the, the price where people like to stick around an inexpensive apartment 500 dollars a month you know when you have a city like new york where the rent is three four five thousand a month this becomes a situation uh like what are you getting for your money the the funny thing is that in places like new york you're paying six times the rent for other major cities in the world yet you're getting something like the, you know the, the the things that you're getting for that money is poorer than what you would get here in Moscow, Russia or in another city, you know? So it's, it's a weird situation where you're paying more but getting less, which is a very standard thing. You know, when, when things are overpriced, uh, it's often that you get such a situation where uh, you pay more, but you get crap in return. They like to do that in Florida, Toronto and things like that. I also have to say that I enjoy walking around these neighborhoods. The, the only thing is, I don't think that filming today is... I don't think that filming today is that good because there's just tons and tons of noise and wind and everything, but... And then right here we can see a bunch of people coming off the bus. And actually the metro station is right there. So we have a subway station which is right there. And then we have a huge shopping mall, you know, and I've been hearing the fact that uh, in the United States, the shopping malls are dead. Well, in Russia, you, you, you also had, you know, somewhat of an effect, but less of an effect because the shopping malls are located within walking distance and you don't have to drive. 